This video is designed to show the setup and use of LifeFlow Plus in real time. Please refer to the IFU for full use instructions, indications, and warnings. Remove the handle and tubing from the package. Open the tubing and close both clamps. Spike bags. Open the saline clamp. Squeeze the middle of air check to prime, removing air from both chambers. If needed, squeeze below the air check ball to release it. Squeeze the tabs to open the canopy and insert the syringe, making sure the plunger is in the blue slot and the milliliter markings are visible. Close the canopy and remove the foam trigger lockout. With the handle pointed upward, cycle the trigger loop until all air has been purged from the syringe and tubing. Using standard aseptic technique, securely attach the tubing to the patient's vascular access. Assess IV patency during the first few squeezes and throughout infusion. To begin blood infusion, close the saline clamp and open the blood clamp. Squeeze air check to prime the blood tubing, then continue infusing. Stop infusing while a small amount of blood remains in the bag. If an additional bag is needed, close the clamp. Connect the next unit, then open the clamp. Squeeze air check to reprime and continue infusing. Air check is designed to stop the flow of fluid when air enters the system. Stop infusing if the level of the air check ball starts to drop. If the ball reaches the bottom of the chamber, the air check will seal and the trigger loop will stop returning. If the air check is engaged, stop infusing. Close the clamp and spike another bag of blood or fluids. Open the desired clamp and reprime to remove air from both chambers. Reset the air check by squeezing below the ball. Do not release the ball when the air check is empty. Blood bags contain a minimal amount of air. You should stop infusing while a small amount of blood remains. If you continue squeezing for too long, a vacuum may develop in the air check chamber. If this happens, simply open the clamp on the saline bag to release the vacuum. The trigger loop provides a tactile feel and is designed to break away if excessive force is applied. This is a safety feature. If the trigger loop stops moving, do not force it open or closed. Stop infusing and begin troubleshooting at the top and move down. Check that fluid remains in the desired bag. Ensure that roller clamps are open. Check that the filter is not clogged. Make sure the ball is not suctioned to the bottom of air check. And check all distal clamps. Thank you.